and a nice cozy turtleneck for your hot water bottle. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and this is Birch and Lily where I talk about all sorts of fun crafty stuff. Today is another video in my pattern series. I'm going to be bringing you a whole bunch of free patterns that only use one skein of yarn today. A lot of great stash busting patterns or patterns to use up scraps of yarn that you have lying around. So before we jump on in, there are a few places you can find me on the internet, mainly my website birchandlilyfiber.com and my Instagram birch.and.lily. Everything I talk about today will be linked down below in the description for you, as well as all of those places you can find me. So, let's jump on in. I have this kind of sorted by, um, like, head, neck, feet, hands, that sort of thing. And I have pattern photos printed out for myself, just so I know what the heck I'm talking about. Mostly because I can't use my computer to look at stuff <laughs> because it's my monitor. Um, but that's that's besides the point. So let's jump on in. First, we'll start with patterns that are great for your head. So I have a hat pattern and a headband pattern. We'll start with the hat. This is called the Tilda Hat. It's a pattern by Anise Sang. Um, and it is a pattern knit out of bulky white yarn. So this would be a great one to knit up if you needed a really, really quick gift knit. It only comes in one size, unfortunately, um, for an adult head circumference of approximately 22 to 23 inches or about 56 to 58 and a half centimeters. But the pattern, I do believe, came with instructions on like how to easily change your gauge so you can adjust that size a little bit so I do appreciate that at least and it's a free pattern so you can't expect too much out of a free pattern but this hat is beautiful it has the most chunky squishy looking braided cables in it um so fast knit but still like really striking and beautiful I think it would make it fun to knit as well too minus the fact that of course it's going to knit up so fast because it's bulky but I think just the squishy cables would make it really really fun to knit um and it does in the photo have a pom-pom on the hat but I'm sure if you did not want a pom-pom it's very easy to just not put a pom-pom on it so a beautiful beautiful hat pattern and a great gift knit I think as well a lot of these would be great gift knits um especially the ones that are knit up in thicker yarn a lot of these are in um like worsted and dk and those would knit up so quickly and easily to give away as a gift so that's another great thing about all of these patterns that i have pulled today another head pattern or another pattern in the head category i guess is the glacier headband this pattern is from morella moments it's knit up in a dk weight yarn again one size but like I said, with the Tilda hat, you can easily adjust that with gauge a little bit and fiddle that way. But it's knit for approximately a 21 and 3 quarter to 22 inch circumference head or about 54 to 56 centimeters in circumference. Um, something else that's fun about this pattern I noticed when I was looking at it. There is also a cowl pattern in the exact same texture as this headband that's available. So if you wanted to make a matching set, you could also do that as well. Both patterns are free, so that's really fun. Um, but I love a headband with a twist in the front, and this headband has both that and a really neat mock cable looking pattern. It looks to me like, yes, so it looks like cables, but those cables are made by knitting lace, so you're not doing any cables at all. So if you want the look of cables, but you don't want the work of cables, this headband would be a really, really fun one to knit for that. But like I said, the twist in the front is so classic and so cute. Um, so really great gift knit as well. Okay, let's move on to patterns for like the neck. So I have a couple cowls in here. I have a shawl, yeah, a couple cowls and a shawl. So let's jump into one of those cowls. This is called the Little Creek Buff, a pattern by Jackie Verbeck, and it's knit up in DK weight yarn. Um, again, we'll only use one skein. Like I said, all of these patterns should only use one skein. This does only have one size, but it's a cowl. Cowls don't really need more than one size, but uh, the pattern does include instructions on how to customize the size by increasing the amount of uh, pattern repeats that you have on the cowl. So that is great. If you wanted to make it more like an infinity scarf, you could do that, or you could stick with the cowl size that the pattern includes. So size wise, the cowl should come out to about 11 inches in length um, and about 19 
inches in circumference. So that's about 28 centimeters in length and 48.25 centimeters circumference, but you could customize that. And it has a really, really cool, like wavy sort of looking pattern to it. When I was looking through the photos as well, and I'm sure I'll pop this on the screen at some point, it showed how both the right and wrong side of the knitting look really unique as well. So that's cool. It's kind of reversible in a way. But yeah, I think the wavy pattern, while it's simple, would also be easily memorizable from what I can see. It doesn't look like it would have a terribly long stitch repeat and you could kind of read your knitting and see where you're going and it would knit up quite quickly because it is in the DK weight yarn. Next we have a shawl. This one has been in my uh, Ravelry library and my queue for quite a while. I can't say I've knit it up, but it's definitely been on my list of like possible gift knits because again, I don't think it would take very long to knit up because it's knit out of worsted weight yarn. Um, so this is the Pine Lake shawl and the pattern, oh, I am so sorry, J Jala Spiro? Jala Spiro. We're gonna go with that. If I said that wrong, I apologize. Um, but she's come out with this gorgeous shawl pattern. It is an asymmetrical shawl. So I'm not sure. I didn't check which end is the cast on, but I'm going to assume it's the skinny point. And then you'll keep increasing um, in stitches until you get to the very end and you get a really nice asymmetrical shawl shape. It's got garter stitch in there. It's got lace. It's got all sorts of potato chippy knitting stuff, but still knitting that's beautiful and will keep you interested. Um, and it makes, I'm shocked at how big of a shawl it makes. I did write down the measurements for it here. So 21 inches by 63 inches by 75 inches, which is quite large. Um, and that's about 53 and a half centimeters by 160 centimeters by 190.5 centimeters so quite a big shawl but it does say that you can do it with one skein so some of the um shawls that are knit on the page there are knit like with a couple different skeins and they kind of marl them together but you could totally get away with doing this with just one skein as well we are flying through patterns today but uh they're all quite simple patterns so there's not much to talk about when you've got a one skein pattern doesn't take too long. One more neck pattern here. This is called the Free For All Cowl, and it's a pattern by Jen Peck. And it has the most beautiful chevron pattern to it um, with lace details, and it's just really, really pretty. This can be knit up in either worsted weight yarn or it gives instructions for fingering weight yarn held double as well. Um, there's no gauge given for the pattern. The pattern states that gauge is not really important. You kind of just knit until you run out of yarn. So that's kind of fun too. There's not too much math that has to be done knitting up this pattern. And knitting this, you're going to end up with a cowl approximately 9 inches in length and 24 inches in circumference, or about 23 centimeters in length and 61 centimeters in circumference. So another really fun quick knit, a great gift knit, a good stash busting knit. I love one skein projects. I love not having to think. I love pulling a skein of yarn off my shelf, casting on, and just knitting. <laughs> so great, great pattern. I was able to find one beautiful pattern, a pair of mitts. These are the Garter Stitch Mitts, a pattern by Isolde Teague. I love her patterns. If you haven't knit the Muscle Bra hat, it's a good one. Also a one skein project, great project to use up one skein of fingering weight yarn, but it's not free. If it was free, that pattern would have been on this list for sure, but the garter stitch mitts are a beautiful pattern as well. They are a DK weight fingerless mitten pattern, um, and they are available in every size under the sun, from like a small child size all the way up to a large adult size. Um, so the pattern gives measurements for like your knuckle circumference, which I guess would be the widest part of your hand. Um, so about five and a half inches to nine inches or 14 centimeters to 22 and a half centimeters. So a really wide range of sizes. They are fingerless, but they're great for, um, fall days, spring days when you want to use your hands. <laughs> um, but the pattern also did state, which I thought was great, that it's a good way to learn how to knit short rows. So there must be a little bit of short rows included in the pattern. But because it's such a small project, if you mess up, 
you don't have to feel so bad about ripping back. The short rows aren't too long and complicated, so if you're looking to learn short rows, this would also be a really great pattern for you. I did pull two different sock patterns for this list, the first one being a tried and true pattern that I love. These are the Perfect Newborn Socks by Tabitha Gandhi. It's a pair of socks that are written up to perfectly fit a little newborn baby's feet. They knit up so fast. I knit these for literally every person I know who has a baby um, and of course they use a very very little yarn. Um, so this is a fingering weight pattern. It does only come in one size but because it's for a newborn baby that makes sense um, and it comes with a couple different options as well for the pattern. So you can do just a ribbed version like a plain ribbed version or a cabled ribbed version. So a couple different options there. Very very cute so tiny <laughs> um but a really great way to use up scraps you don't even need to use a full skein of yarn you could pull out probably about a mini skeins worth of scraps and have plenty of yarns so like 20 grams and you'd be able to totally get a pair of tiny little newborn socks out of that the other pair of socks that i pulled is a beautiful pattern by this handmade life her sock patterns are gorgeously written these are the cozy autumn socks and they are knit out of fingering weight yarn as well. They come in two adult sizes, so a 60 stitch size and a 72 stitch size. And they just, they're so pretty. Again, another pattern where if you don't want to knit cables, but you want the look of cables, these socks have that. They have a mock cable pattern that ends up looking like a braided cable, but you're not cabling anything. You're just doing yarn overs and like decrease stitches. So... A really fun pattern in that way that you don't have to pay attention to the cables and then worry about how the cables make the fabric tighter and all that fun stuff. You just get to get that look in a simpler way. So I've knit these up before too, actually. Now that I think about it, I don't know where they are, but I have knit this pattern. I've knit many of the patterns from This Handmade Life and they're really well written. Um, I will say though, if you haven't knit from a chart before, this would be a great way to learn, um, but keep that in mind. This pattern is only charted. I don't think there's any written instructions from what I can remember. Two other patterns that I pulled. These are more like household items, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, so I've pulled the Tin Ceiling Washcloth. This is a pattern from Pearl Soho, and it's one of the prettiest dishcloths I've ever seen. Um, it has this really cool diamond pattern on it, and then it also has a little loop in the corner so you can like hang it up from somewhere from the little loop. This you get what I mean. Um, but it's a really beautiful pattern. It's knit up in worsted weight yarn. So if you had a skein of, say, Knit Picks Dishy kicking around, this would be the perfect pattern for it. I think I might order myself some Knit Picks Dishy so I can knit some of these up because they're the prettiest, like, wash dishcloth type pattern I think I've seen. So beautiful pattern. Um, it also comes in a hand towel size as well, so you can make a matching set, but the hand towel size is going to use more than one skein of yarn, so that's why I have just the washcloth size included on this video, but a beautiful pattern. If you're looking for free patterns, Pearl Soho is a great resource. I believe all of their patterns are free. Um, I'm currently knitting the half and half triangle wrap from them. That's a free one. Beautiful pattern, so if you're on the hunt for free patterns, they have more than just this beautiful washcloth. And finally, I have pulled a pattern uh, for your hot water bottle. I have seen, these are coming back in style, apparently. I hear everyone talking about them lately. I don't have a hot water bottle. I have like one of those little rice bags that you heat in the microwave. <laughs> but if you have a hot water bottle, and you want a cover for it, this pattern is gorgeous. This is called Warm Greetings. It's a pattern by Sunghee Park, and it's knit out of worsted weight yarn, and the pattern says you only need one skein. So I think it's a great pattern because of that. Um, but it fits a hot water bottle about seven and a half inches by 13 inches or about 19 by 33 centimeters and it just has a really beautiful simple cable pattern running down the front of it and a nice cozy turtleneck for your hot water bottle <laughs> i don't know it makes me laugh it looks like a sweater for your hot water bottle like if you added little sleeves to this you could give your hot water bottle arms i'm getting weird here but i don't know really really cute <laughs> 
So yeah, another fun one skein project. That is all I have pulled, but if you have any free one skein patterns that you love, make sure you leave them down in the comments. We can make this kind of like a big resource for everyone out there. So let me know your favorite one skein knitting project patterns down below and I hope you get lots of gift knitting done. Get your Christmas knitting started now. It sounds crazy but I've been doing that the past couple years and I don't stress at all at Christmas because all my knitting is done throughout the year. So highly recommend. If you liked what you saw today please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps out a lot and I will see you again next week for a regular podcast episode or in two weeks for another one of these fun knitting resource videos. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.